yes can you see the table of content hello yeah oh, great so good morning students uh, last lecture we discussed regarding what are the benefits of e-commerce and what are the limitations of e-commerce okay now in today's lecture we are going to study the classification of e-commerce and uh, what are different types of e-commerce then different types of e-commerce organizations then there is something called as digital economy that we are going to see the concept of digital enterprise that also we are going to discuss and then uh, there are two types of organizations basically the first is called as brick and click organization versus brick and mortar organization so we are going to see the difference between both types of organization right so let us first see what do you mean by what are the different uh, classification of e-commerce okay now when we are talking about e-commerce okay the classification of e-commerce is basically done as per the nature of transaction okay there are different types of transactions the business organization there are basically four main entities consumers businesses employees and government all these four entities they use e-commerce okay so depending on the nature of the transaction that is executed or carried out by these uh, particular entities the classification of e-commerce is made right so the first is consumers okay so the consumer is the uh, final beneficiary of the uh, e-commerce okay one of the beneficiary we can say just a moment let me in the candidate students okay okay so uh, consumers is the first entity then the second entity is business organization then third entity is employees and then the fourth entity is government okay now depending on the uh, nature of the transactions and what is the relationship between among these entities among themselves okay like for example consumers they interact with business organizations business organizations yes consumers also interact with government okay so consumer is interacting with consumer itself they interact with business organization and consumers also interact with government okay so three type of interactions is carried out in by the consumers now when we talk about businesses business organization they transact among themselves then they transact with consumers they transact with government organizations and they also transact with their own employees so there is four type of interaction that is carried out by business organization then employees so employees again are of a two type Bus or employees of business organizations and employees of government so employees again have two way interaction with business organization as well as government and then finally the government who is interacting with all the entities like one government interacting with another government okay then government is interacting with consumers or we call it as uh, citizens then government is also interacting with business organization and government is also interacting with the government employees okay so depending on the nature of work of is carried out or the transaction that is conducted by these entities there is the e-commerce classification okay so let's see one by one so this classification we call it as e-commerce business models okay e-commerce business models so the first is we call it as b2b business model okay so b2b stands for business to business okay so what is the meaning of business to business one business interacting with another business one business organization sell and buy the products or services from or to the other business organization so it refers to the transaction between and among the organization in short okay understood 
business to business now what is the example of b2b kind of business yes correct very good yes b2b kind of supplier giving to the manufacturer manufacturer giving to the distributor distributor giving to the retailer like that so one business organization giving the business to the other is the example of b2b so for example dell okay dell or uh, say uh, amazon is also a b2b kind of portal alibaba india mart all these uh you know shopping portals these are the examples of b2b kind of business model okay then comes b2c okay so b2c stands for business to consumer okay business nahi disate sure uh i am on the e-commerce business model slide can you see the slide okay just wait now it's changed now it's visible okay yeah so the another kind of e-commerce business model is business to consumer so what is business to consumer it includes the retail transactions of products or services from businesses to individual shoppers or we call it as an individual customer or consumer okay that is called as business to consumer so for example again amazon dell is the example of b2c kind of e-commerce business model if you wanted to buy a dell laptop what you do you can visit the dell website you can configure the uh, you know pc of your choice and then you can place the order similarly yes business organizations they offer different uh, services to the customers okay through their online uh, portal like amazon and customer can place the order or customer can uh, place the order online on the amazon website or the shopping portal right so that is the business to consumer kind of e-commerce model now what are the different types of facilities that are provided to the consumer on the b2c kind of portal yes do you shop online yes have you ordered some goods or yes yeah. so uh, what what different types of services are offered by these b2c kind of business model what are the different things that you are able as a consumer you are able to perform online हम्म यस यस तुम्ही काय काय तुम्हाला काय काय फॅसिलिटीज आहे तुम्ही काय काय करू शकता वेबसाईट वर हम्म यू कॅन कम्पेअर दी प्राइजेस येस यू येस यू कॅन हम्म so flexibility we call it as flexibility and customization option is there you can personalize the product right hmm payment systems you can create your login you have to create your login the shopping cart facility is provided you can select the product and you can uh, you know uh, add it to the shopping cart not necessarily it has to be purchased you know you can keep it on your uh, in your cart as and as long as you want it and then you can place an order and then there are different options that are available like cash on delivery cod option is there 
goods return option is also there you can uh, raise a complaint you can track your consignment you get the messages on your mobile where is your uh, delivery when you will get the delivery what is the status of delivery okay who is delivering the product you can contact the person you get different payment options like debit card credit card online payment you also get different discounts if you use particular bank account sometimes hdfc or you know axis bank if you use you get uh, the discount right so all these are nothing but the facilities provisions that are made available to the consumer which make the task of the consumer easy so it gives a very good experience to the consumer when interacting with online shopping portal right so that is b2c kind of business model then comes c2b c2b is consumer to business okay consumer to business so consumer to business is the uh, business model okay e-commerce business model wherein the consumer interact with the business organizations consumer contact the business organization gives the requirement give the business to the business organizations okay so it is initiated from the customer towards the business so that is called as consumer to business okay so uh, these uh, travel websites are there travel services okay wherein uh, the consumer gets the facility and consumer can avail different travel services consumer can uh, perform the bidding on the product and services put forth by the business organization sometimes okay so that is nothing but called as consumer to business people use internet okay to sell the products or services to the individuals and also to the organizations that is called as consumer to business individuals they also bid on the product or services so that is called as consumer to business model right then next is business to employees b2e model okay so wherein the business organization gives certain facilities or services to their employees so that their task or the work becomes easy okay say for example this is the kind of uh, category we can say which refers to the delivery of services or let's say information or products from the organization to their employees so major category we can say the example is mobile employees okay or the em mobile employees means mobile means those who are moving or those who are on the field so the employees who are on the field they can use b2e services say for example let's say delivery boy is there so delivery boy is working for suppose amazon or uh, any uh, um, organization okay as a delivery boy and delivering the products to the customers so whenever he comes with the delivery of the product to your doorstep previously you uh, you used to sign some document you know you used to sign uh, uh, as a acknowledgement that you have received the product now it is a digital signature okay so business organization has uh, business organization they have given this facility to their employees that they can take the digital signature from the customer on the mobile okay so they just uh, uh, share the screen of the mobile and you just sign with your finger on the mobile okay so this is what this is a kind of ease which is provided to the employees so they don't need to carry any document with them they can take the digital signature of the customer that they have received the product so this is what this is some facility which uh, is provided by business organization to their employees okay right then the next is c to c kind of e business model okay so c to c c to c stands for consumer to consumer 
सो कंज्युमर टू कंज्युमर इज वॉट इट इज ई कॉमर्स कैटेगरी वेअर इंडिव्हिज्युअल कस्टमर्स दे कॅन सेल ऑर दे कॅन बाय फ्रॉम दी अदर कंज्युमर्स ओके सो इट इन्क्लूड्स दी इंडिव्हिज्युअल सेलिंग से फॉर एक्झाम्पल कम्प्युटर्स मेडिकल इन्स्ट्रुमेंट्स ऑर एनी पर्सनल सर्व्हिसेस ऑनलाईन ओके दे कॅन सेल ओल्ड ऑर न्यू थिंग्स ऑर द स्टफ ॲट होम ऑनलाईन सो वन कस्टमर सेल अदर कस्टमर कॅन पर्चेस ओके सो द एक्झाम्पल ऑफ सी टू सी काइंड ऑफ ई कॉमर्स बिझनेस मॉडेल इज ई बे अँड ओ एल एक्स ओके सो ऑन दीज वेबसाईट्स वन कस्टमर कॅन कॉन्टॅक्ट दी अदर कस्टमर डिरेक्टली अँड देर इज नो बिझनेस ऑर्गनायझेशन ॲज सच विच इज इन्वॉल्व इन बिटवीन सो दिस इज डायरेक्टली सी टू सी काइंड ऑफ ई कॉमर्स बिझनेस मॉडेल ओके सो दिस दिस वे दीज मॉडेल्स वर रिलेटेड टू दी बिझनेस ऑर्गनायझेशन सो दिस इज दीज आर कॉल्ड ॲज ई कॉमर्स बिझनेस मॉडेल्स ओके नाव नेक्स्ट आर नथिंग बट दी ई कॉमर्स मॉडेल्स विच आर रिलेटेड टू दी गव्हर्नमेंट ओके नाव आय हॅव चेंज दी स्लाईड कॅन यू सी द ई गव्हर्नमेंट स्लाईड येस ओके सो ॲज फार ॲज दी गव्हर्नमेंट इज कन्सर्न ओके देर आर फोर टाईप्स ऑफ इंटरॅक्शन्स दॅट आर कॅरीड आउट हिअर द फर्स्ट काइंड इज कॉल्ड ॲज जी टू बी ओके जी टू बी दॅट इज गव्हर्नमेंट टू बिझनेस दॅन जी टू सी दॅट इज गव्हर्नमेंट टू कस्टमर्स दॅन जी टू जी दॅट इज गव्हर्नमेंट टू गव्हर्नमेंट अँड जी टू ई दॅट इज गव्हर्नमेंट टू एम्प्लॉईज ओके नाव जी टू बी इज गव्हर्नमेंट टू बिझनेस ऑर्गनायझेशन्स ओके नाव यु नो दॅट वेन एव्हर गव्हर्नमेंट यु नो इट इज अ स्टँडर्ड प्रॅक्टिस दॅट वेन एव्हर गव्हर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू प्रोक्युअर सम मटेरियल एनी काइंड ऑफ मटेरियल दे नीड टू फ्लोट दी टेंडर ओके दे नीड टू फ्लोट दी टेंडर ऑनलाईन सो देर इज दिस वेबसाईट ओके ई टेंडरिंग वेबसाईट इज देअर ऑफ दी गव्हर्नमेंट वेअर यू कॅन फाइंड ऑल दी ई टेंडर्स विच आर फ्लोटेड ऑनलाईन अँड इट इज फ्री टू ऑल यू कॅन गो ॲज पर दी कंडिशन्स ऑर वॉट एव्हर देअर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर ईच अँड एव्हरी टेंडर and then you can fill that tender online you can apply for that tender online okay as a business organization suppose maybe there is a supply of stationery or cleanliness tender is there supply of certain uh, dust bins or uh, uh, computers printers laptops any any requirement the government may float and the business organization they can fill that tender and they can get the business from the government so that is government to business organization okay then the next is government to customers or we can also say citizens because for the government customer is nothing but the citizen so government to citizens so what are the services yes we all use these different types of services give me the example of g2c kind of service yes government to citizen yes give me the example okay that is uh, regular what other yes correct any other so many are there so many are there other examples Hmm? Pension scheme, yes. Yeah. Scholarship, correct. Scholarships, admissions. Uh, you are applying for the passport. Provident fund. You, you are applying you, income tax. You are filing the income tax. yes you get the return online you apply for pan card aadhar card you uh, register your vehicle you apply for driving license online 
you take the appointment online right so all these are in every sector you will find that the government provides the services to the customer to their doorstep they have made the uh, services physical delivery one window system is there okay single window system so delivery of services uh you have to visit to the respective government website and you have to complete the formalities so in this regards we also talked about the digital locker system okay so digital locker system is where you can save all your documents certificates licenses you will find it in your dg locker system okay so you can visit any time what you required is your aadhar card so there is a digital locker website you all can visit okay today what you can do is you just do this you visit the digital locker uh, system uh, web, web, website and there you have to register with uh, your aadhar card so you enter your aadhar card you get you have to follow some authentication uh, two step authentication is there that you have to follow and once you log in you can see some of your certificates or licenses which are already there in your inbox okay so you can share the dg locker id of yours with the concern uh, office or any uh, government organization wherever it is required so all the documents you majority of the documents you will already find they are there okay so you can do this today uh, the task you uh visit the digital locker and see what is there in your digital locker yes all of you will do that yeah okay so g2c is uh, the government to customer then the third is government to government okay now government to government is one one government interacting with the other government one government carrying out e-commerce transaction with the other government okay so say for example at the national level one state government interacting with other state government okay within the state also one district there is a e district portal of government of maharashtra okay e district portal so in that e district portal there is the login facility which is provided to each and every district wherein they can share the data amongst themselves so there is a data center for every state and every district as well so it is through this uh, you know e government channel it is possible that they can exchange the data among the themselves okay so that is government to government then the next is government to employees okay so government to employees is that the government using the e commerce platform to offer services to its employees so maybe it is processing of the salary it is it is the pension scheme okay that facility is given by the government to its employees right so these are nothing but e commerce models which are related to government so these are also called as e government models okay g2b g2c g2g and g2e right then uh, then there are these were the classification okay or e government e -go sorry e commerce business models okay now there are certain types of e-commerce okay types of e-commerce can you see the slide types of e-commerce yes ma'am yeah so there are four types yes. four types are there the first is called as collaborative commerce okay that is c commerce hmm? then next is social commerce that is also called as s commerce then f commerce that is called as facebook commerce and l commerce that is called as location based commerce just me let me in the candidate hello who is this sachin pansare yeah i know that but what is the time 
of the lecture hmm i know the lecture start at 10 hmm i have another lecture okay i completed that lecture i am teacher of 11th of the class so okay 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 no issues so collaborative commerce it it means that it stands for c commerce which refers to the online activities or the kind of communication that is done by various parties which are working together to attain the same goal or same objective okay so certain uh, group of people they come together and they collaborate with each other and they carry out the business okay so uh, maybe for example suppliers or Uh, a chain of distributors or retailers they uh, work together and they carry out the online activities okay and then they have the common goal of doing the business so some activities or some uh, e-commerce activities are done in collaboration with other parties that is called as collaborative commerce hmm? then next is social commerce so as the name indicates it is nothing but the e-commerce activities that are conducted in social networks by using social media okay social software is nothing but the social media software okay so on whatsapp also you come across various groups are there in lockdown many people they started their uh, business on whatsapp receiving the uh, orders online on whatsapp group okay and uh, carrying out the uh, different uh, e-commerce activities or trade buying and selling of goods and services so these are the nothing but the activities which are conducted in the preview of social network under the social network websites then f commerce so f commerce is actually the kind of social commerce only so whenever the activities are conducted and they are facilitated by facebook so facebook when it is used as a uh, medium or channel for carrying out the trade it is called as f commerce right and l commerce is nothing but uh, e commerce activities that are conducted based on location okay now uh, can you give me the example of l commerce location based commerce yes location based e-commerce can you give me example hmm export means selling of grains farmer grains or farmer grains like that uh hmm can you explain Hmm. 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 Okay. बर हम्म अच्छा ओके ओके हम्म 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 दे हैव डेवलप देर ऐप ओके हम्म 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 ओके या या करेक्ट हाँ correct correct yes that is the example of l commerce any other see there is hmm hmm yes google map yes google map is a location based service very good another is uh, you might be using uh, ola and uber yeah traveling app you can book yes what you do you search in the destination okay if you have used that app what do you do you enter the name of the destination and you search for the particular vehicle whether it is a auto or whether it is a uh, four wheeler okay so whatever is uh, the Uh, drivers they are in your vicinity they 
uh, immediately get the signal and they accept your request so those who accept your request immediately you get the phone number and the name of that person and you can contact so this is again a location based service okay it is uh, in the vicinity you track the vehicle and the drivers also they accept the services depending on the distance and uh, the mode that is available the uh, the uh, you know what we can say the vehicle which is in your vicinity in your locality you can uh, easily get the facility of commuting right so that is nothing but location based commerce right so these are nothing but four types of e commerce right then there are types of e commerce organizations okay e commerce organizations can you see the slide types of e commerce organizations i am on the slide types of e commerce organizations can you see the slide hello hello are you able to hear me oh are network connection gone Omkar, 